Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. First things first, if you're new here, please, please subscribe. Of course, you don't have to, but it would really, really help me out in where I'm trying to get my channel to be. OK, so let's move on. So today's clip has been something which has been on my mind for, in fact, many years in wanting to try and achieve. But I've never, ever quite stuck it out. I've never quite got there. And it's all about growing hair. I have hearing aids, so I have always been really, really conscious of them. But I wouldn't ever say to the point that it's because I wear hearing aids. I think it's because I find myself in a situation of sometimes feeling really vulnerable because if I mishear something, wearing hearing aids and hearing is different to wearing hearing aids and mishearing still. It sounds strange. It's complicated often to get my own head around. So I don't really... I don't really sort of have the desire there to get other people to understand it. I really, really hope that it doesn't come across that I'm sort of really, really vain about it, because that's not my intention. But for such a long time, I've really been trying to grow my hair out. And now I'm really super, super sort of over, sort of overjoyed with it, because one thing I've been able to take out from finally being able to cover my hearing aids, as you can see from here, now, what I've got, I've got a style going on now that my hair touches my chin. Now, what I like is a lot of volumized styles. So I like that volume on one side sometimes, and I like the length to be able to cover one ear. Now, on this side, this used to be an undercut, so it's grown out now, but as you can see, it covers the hearing aid. Now, you can see through this bit of hair here because it's fine, but I can assure you, when I have got my lighting on, you can't necessarily see directly straight through the hair. So the hair is to here, so it nicely just covers that ear. So you can probably just see my hearing aid mould, but you cannot see the hearing aid here. And in you, if you're passing me in the street or whatever, you wouldn't necessarily just see it. And family members have actually asked me if I've had my hearing aids in, when actually I have, they've just been covered with hair. Now very often, which makes it even better, I've got a parting in my hair off to one side or in the middle, and that covers my hearing aids as well, because my hair has grown out that long now, which I'm going to grow it a little bit longer, just just because I can and just because I just want to see and explore with longer length hairstyles and see how that works for me. But as I say, I'm absolutely over the, over, overjoyed, over the moon, that now I can cover my hearing aids. And I don't want it to sound really, really awful, but I can now, I, for so long, I felt really, really quite vulnerable in the fact that for some reason, I always used to have an undercut style. So my hair super, super short, and then you would see my hearing aids. Almost to sort of have Yes, I've got hearing aids. Yes, I've got them. And I'm really proud of the fact that I'm, I, I, I'm in this situation and I'm owning it. <sighs> Try telling yourself that every day. But it works. Do not. Most of the time, I'm absolutely fine. Lately, unfortunately, I've been having some more problems of hearing. Um, and I am awaiting to see a specialist of hearing, uh, ears, nose and throats regards to having a look at my hearing again, because I am struggling. So in my own heart of hearts, I do notice a little bit of a change in my hearing, but I don't want to make that really like a, like a real sad down notion, because I'm hoping that possibly it may, may return to my normal level of hearing loss. I'm hoping that there's nothing sort of permanently wrong there or anything changing. So what's really good for me is to stay really, really positive and to really sort of find ways of dealing with it. And if that be one day having a hairstyle which can cover my hearing aids where I'm feeling a little bit more vulnerable, a little bit more self-conscious, then great, because that just makes living with a hearing loss much more easier when I don't necessarily have to keep on explaining, sorry, what was that? What was that? Sorry, I've got hearing aids and I can't necessarily follow or hear you. I know it's just hair, but my goodness, what an effect it has. So it's really, really good sometimes just to be able to have that there, that actually if I'm not feeling so great, then I can just pick a style and I can just cover the hearing aids. And very often a smile gets me through a lot because if I haven't heard things sometimes, then if I just smile and sort of pretend, if I, sometimes I just smile, I'm like, if I wait a little bit longer, I'm going to hear it again. And you know what, nine times out of ten it works. Um, there are tricks, there are tips for living with a hearing loss, I find, particularly in my situation where I have that sort of partial hearing loss, where I'm deaf on my left side, and then I have some hearing loss on my right side. Um, but, but what actually happens... Um, I've, I've got a cross system in. Actually, that's worth noting. So I've got a cross system in. So I've got what's like a, a satellite hearing aid. Um, and I've got my hearing aid from my good side, which it, it does the hearing for me. And then it mimics that into my deaf ear. 
So, of course, they are a bit bigger than normal hearing aids, and I've got the hearing moulds as well, which makes it a little bit more obvious that I wear hearing aids, which, of course, isn't a problem. My mum has always, always been so supportive and amazing in the fact, because she always says to me, they are you, they are a part of you, they don't change who you are. And my mum, bless her, always says, you're still that amazing person, which absolutely melts my heart. Like, absolutely, I think the world of her, I love her so much. And even, <laughs> that's just, just amazing. It always just brings me straight back up when I am feeling down, and my mum says that to me. My nan, bless her, has uh, Alzheimer's, but before um, before my nan uh, sort of got slightly worse with this with this illness, my nan is still with us now, um, but she was very, very, always very, very supportive with my hearing problems um, and my hearing loss. Um, I've worn hearing aids now for nearly coming up, I think it must be around 12 to 14 years now. So I'm, I'm only 27. Um, so... You can imagine. So, yeah, my nan, years ago, growing up in particular when I was at school, she was absolutely fantastic with my hearing uh, loss. And I have tinnitus as well. My nan had tinnitus, so she knew exactly what I went through. If you don't necessarily know what that is, um, it's a sound in your ears, basically, to be honest with you. Um, and yes, I'm young, and yes, it can be caused by listening to loud music, but that's not what mine was caused by. Mine was unfortunately caused by my hearing loss and my hearing condition. Um, but do you see what I mean? On those sort of days, support is fantastic, but when you can do those small things for yourself, which make it so much more bearable, like a change of hairstyle, it really does, it really, really does just change how you feel about yourself. It does me anyway. It just makes you feel a bit more confident about yourself as well, because then if you don't want to disclose you've got a hearing loss, you don't have to. You don't have to. I used to work in retail banking, and I loved that role, but my goodness, how people could be vicious when I didn't hear things. I've been called deaf, I've been called all sorts of things, absolutely all sorts of things. I've had somebody stand in front of me when I didn't hear something, and they said, so you're deaf then? And every time I said something, they'd say, so you're deaf then? So you're deaf then? So you're deaf then? They wouldn't let me get a word in edge. And I wasn't upset, but you know when, ang when, you, you know when anger just gets so much does a spin on you and you almost burst out into tears that happened to me so of course it was really embarrassing as well at the time but my whole my whole work my, my work colleagues were absolutely so supportive about that but i think then even just something as small as just having that option sometimes to just weigh things up with the hairstyle and covering them and that sounds silly and please don't think that i am through saying this but back then i've always kept a really short style so you can see them straight away so people can go he's got that straight away and sadly people will attack things like that which they can see if they see somebody slightly like that and perhaps think that somebody's going to be a little bit vulnerable to that as well then they will jump in on it because they did when i was in my retail banking roles and that happened often sadly and um yeah not nice not nice at all so anybody in my situation when you've got a hearing problem or you're a bit conscious wearing hearing aids have a go at playing around with your hairstyle because even though hair isn't a huge thing um have a go at growing your hair out a bit if you've got hearing aids because it helps your confidence and it just gives you that option of being able to cover things if you don't want it. Like me, for example, if I don't want to see so much hearing aid, what I do is I cover one side and then now what I can do, and don't forget my hair's a bit fine here, you can sort of, what I've done is I've pulled the hair across my ear so it looks really quite nice and stylish, straightened this little bit here so it's straight, and then pulled it across my ear and it just covers the area. Now the light shines straight through the hair here, but it's not so fine as that I can assure you, so it does cover more of my ear. I don't know if you can kind of see that from coming up a bit. So you can't actually see hearing aids, but anybody who's wondering about that, or if they're thinking about growing their hair, absolutely go ahead and do it, because it really does just help you. Um, for me, growing my hair has always just been something which I've wanted to do, um, but I've never... I've never really ever sort of given myself enough time. I've always sort of lost patience with it. Um, and I've always then just end up having it all chopped off. But now I'm ne not actually going to go on and do that because it just makes so much of a difference to me to be able to have that. I, I call it a tool because it is a tool to me to be able to help me cope with wearing hearing aids, having that hearing problem. Because it's bad enough as it is. Um, and having something like that, just that option of being able to cover it up is fantastic. Now, of course, with women always usually have that amazing hair, can always cover it up. Usually, let's be fair, usually. Some people might not want to, and fantastic, good on them for that. I'm not there yet. I haven't been in the last 12 to 14 years. I don't think I ever will be. Um, I do feel still self-conscious of my hearing. Um, 
I do worry about it and I worry for the future. So as you can see, something like an option of just being able to cover it one day or a hairstyle is going to give me a bit more confidence because if my hearing loss has took a lot of confidence away from me, then it's an absolute added bonus and it's a huge thing as well. So it's all positive. Of course, talking now about hair, growing hair out takes time and patience, but you can enjoy a whole host of styles along the way as well. What kind of tips for keeping your hair healthy? Um, yeah, my tips for growing your hair out longer if you've got your hearing aids is look after your hair. Don't neglect your hair. Try and stay away from heat as much as you can, but if you're going to, always use a heat protectant. Always condition, 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 and look at things like oil, leave-in conditioners and things like that, leave-in treatments, masks. Even if you're a man there, let's be honest, you don't have to show anybody, but just look after your hair, because then it grows up a bit more quicker, I find. Um, regular trims and things, yeah, okay, I've never really been a fan for that, because you you are cutting the hair away physically, aren't you? Whereas if you keep it in good condition and you keep the heat at bay, use heat, but use a heat protectant, then of course that hair stays nice and healthy and it just grows and grows and grows. And before long, you'll be able to cover up your hearing aids and enjoy that little bit of added confidence and that nice option to have on a day you don't feel yourself and you want to cover up your hearing aids. I have literally been in days where I've had the short back and sides cut when I was very young and I used to think to myself, if I could just cover them up, and of course you can't do that. You can't do that, can you? You have to go on and live your life. Um, my confidence has got better, but having longer hair just gives you that added bit of confidence as well. Okay, so I could talk about my hearing problems all day, I really could, but I'm just conscious I'm trying to keep my times of my clips on my channel a little bit more reduced. But if you want to know more, perhaps leave me a comment down below. If you want to ask me a question, please do, and I'll get back to you as quick as I can. Okay, so until next time, thanks very much for watching this clip about hair and hearing aids and sort of mixing sort of mixing all of that up together. Um, thanks very much for sharing that with me. It's been great to have your company. And until next time, we will see you then. Bye for now.